So to so introduce some new and exciting developments in this field that I truly believe will be game changing, I want to introduce a colleague from Intel, Frank Sokwi, on stage. Excellent. And let's just share with the audience some of the key things that are coming together. Frank, why don't you come on board? Welcome. How are you? Good morning. Hey, Frank. It's great to see HP and Intel and Citrix together on stage all at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. Frank, first of all, let me start with you. I hear you have some incredibly exciting news to share, something that will be totally game-changing from a customer standpoint. Yeah. So I'm going to give the stage to you and uh, have a discussion with the audience about what is in store for all of us. Okay, well, I, I, by the way, thank you for that introduction. I really appreciate it. As I was trying to think about the things I wanted to say to you today, a couple of things hit my mind. Um, I'm actually excited for two reasons to be here. This is my first ever Citrix Synergy event on stage, so thanks so much for the That's opportunity. Great, welcome. Thank you. And of course, you know, being able to disclose an upcoming processor, it's, a, uh, it's an early look. But I think it's okay to do an early look. It's just between you know me and 5,000 of my friends. So that should be okay. I won't get in trouble for that. No, actually, I, I want to talk to you about it, and I want you to be able to talk about it as well. So what we're disclosing is an Intel Xeon E3 processor, codenamed CrystalWell, that enables us to work with our OEMs to deliver really high density, very efficient um, server solutions for the data center and to be able to deliver a very, very compelling user experience to the end user on rich and professional applications. So let me talk a little bit about what's inside. What a surprise. <laughs> so what's inside is, for the first time ever, we've integrated an Intel Xeon E3 processor with our amazing Intel Iris Pro graphics. That's great. In addition, we've also put on EDRAM memory to reduce bottlenecks that the CPU and the graphics have in terms of access to that memory, as well as those two um, parts being able to access the same data in a zero copy kind of mode, meaning I don't have to copy it somewhere else for both of them to be able to access it. And so what we're doing is we're delivering the ability to have really dense, very efficient, and performant service solutions for the data center that enable um, amazing applications experiences on things like CAD, um, complex 3D rendering and video editing. That's wonderful, Frank. I mean, it's great to hear the technology innovations and the developments and the miniaturization, so to speak, that, that we are driving yeah. and the consolidation of functions. I mean, graphics and call it broadly speaking, general purpose computing capabilities coming together. Tell me a bit about the impact in the marketplace that you foresee creating. What are the true benefits that customers can derive with this that they were hitherto not able to do it. Yeah, the, you know, the, the impact fundamentally is coming down to be able to create the level of density and efficiency and, and performance in a server that we really weren't able to do before. Um, when I talked about the, the, the Crystal Well uh, processor, that's 47 watts. And it's 47 watts, it includes a Xeon E3 processor, it includes the Iris Pro graphics, and it includes the EDRAM. If you think about it that way, I can get 10 processors on a very thin one U kind of blade, right? That means I have 10 processors, but each one of those processors has four cores. So now I have 40 cores and stunning graphics all integrated in a one U design. And I can do that at one third the power that it would have cost you if you used a discrete graphics card. So what you get is, you saw some of the demos yesterday, right? They were, they were teasers. There was a reason they didn't disclose what was in it. When you saw the tablet accessing the server, I wonder what was running in the background. Well, now you know. It was a crystal wire processor. Great. That's wonderful to hear. Great performance, fantastic density, great economics, supporting multiple deployment models. That's, that's great. So, Frank, tell us a bit more about the other aspects of the Citrix relationships. This is not the only one that we are collaborating on. Some of the exciting things that we're doing together to deliver a rich set of capabilities to our customers. Okay, um, so our collaboration with Citrix um, is a, is a multi-year collaboration. And uh, Citrix is a great leader in application and desktop 
virtualization, being able to do the application streaming and the application sharing, which is a lot of the, uh, the usage models that we've been talking about that you're bringing out as a solution. Um, you know, when I, when I think about this from maybe an open source perspective, Intel's a leader, at least one of the leaders in supplying open source code. And when I think about that in, um, in uh, access, I guess I would say our, our crystal well processor and being able to expose using Xen access to the, uh, to the uh, Intel uh, Iris Pro uh, graphics, I think that and the collaboration we're doing to get the value out of that using Zen app and Zen server, I mean, that's, that's really cool. And then to be able to deliver that as a solution yeah. through our partners, I mean, you know, yeah, that's, that's, that's just a great collaboration story. That's great. Enabling technologies now obviously need solutions. So Tom, tell us a bit about how we are integrating the enabling technologies from Intel into more complete solutions and systems for our customers. You bet. As the Moonshot platform is now deployed and in the market, very stable. It is poised now for further innovation. And this three-way collaboration is a manifestation of that, of course. And just like a, a good coach, metaphorically, or a good athletic trainer can get the most out of an athlete, HP can get the most out of this Xeon E3, the athlete the Xeon E3. And we do that by our world-class performance tuning and benchmarking analysis. We That's do that by integrating closely with storage. We do that from a quality perspective, a cooling perspective. And we're able to extract incredible uh, performance and incredible value out of this wonderful technology. And therefore, the rich application stack that includes, in this case, the Zen app for what we would say publishing or application streaming, combined with the operating system stability, and of course, Intel's commitment to the industry standard architecture compatibility, uh, makes this a very easy fit in many, many organizations. So we're, we're quite happy to, uh, to, to uh, uh, have this relationship and actually have a uh, technology advancement right here today at Citrix. That's Citrix. fantastic. It's not often that you get two key strategic partners on stage with you at your customer event and announce groundbreaking technology that is going to game change, change the game as it relates to performance, density, cost, and a very rich set of applications, yeah. so to speak, leveraging Citrix technology. Thanks a lot for doing this. Obviously, we spoke about some abstract concepts, and we showed a small chip, and so on and so forth. But wouldn't it be great to bring Brad back on stage <laughs> and actually demonstrate that it all works, and it's all real, and have the audience actually experience the thrill of rich applications being delivered with ZenApp? Brad, welcome back again. Let's go over here. Brad, Brad keeps, Brad keeps right. me guessing. Last time he came from that side, this time he's coming from here. Welcome That's right. Brad, Brad. Hey, and you know, we're, uh, we're running short on time, but I got a GPU here, so this go is going to go really fast. Go for it. Right? Yeah. All right, so you can see the screen I've got going here. We're connected into a remote desktop. Okay, I'm going to pick up an application that's going to exercise the GPU in the system here. Go ahead and bring this up. And by the way, this should look familiar, right? This is the Autodesk Showcase application that I showed you yesterday. Yesterday when we were connected to it, it was running up in the cloud in Northern California. Okay, so today it's running here on the system that we just launched. Okay, so you can see this rotating and all of the GPU effects coming through, the reflections off the car. It's very, very amazing. Another example of this is geospace application. So in here, I've got real satellite imagery. When I pop into here, I can zoom in and the GPU comes into effect and gives me all the details that I need to see the information associated with this application. Now, another example here is power is uh, Photoshop. So we all know Photoshop, you install it, you get this sample image in here. But when I pop in here into filters and go into liquify, I can go and do mass pixel manipulation on that image. And by the way, Sadaka, I don't know if you can do that move right there. No, no? Not, not even. I, okay. So I'm wise, I don't even try that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't even attempt that. Wouldn't attempt that myself uh, but either. But Mark did a fabulous job yesterday, yes. I want to say. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> the GPU, however, handles it famously. Now, here's an example of an HTML5 application that exercises the GPU, too. Now, remember, this is in a virtual desktop running there and displaying here. I can crank this up to, uh, let's go to 2,000 fish in the bowl. There you go. 2,000 fish in the bowl. We're still at, like, 40 frames a second. So we are crushing it, cranking away, and it's doing a beautiful job. So 
We've seen it in action. I think we actually need to see, you know, even more. Now there's a breakout session at 11 o'clock. Tony Spring has got that, so make it if you want to learn more about this. But now it's time to actually see the device. Yeah. Are we ready for the unveil? Yes. Yes? There we go. <laughs> Dramatic, I know. That's great. Moonshot. That is indeed a moonshot. Definitely. I didn't forget my line. I'm mesmerized uh, by the technology <laughs> here. Those of you who are veterans of Citrix Synergy know that when you come here, you get more. And you are getting to see, for the first time publicly, the moonshot cartridges hosting the Intel Xeon E3 with Iris Pro graphics. Let me lift it out. Whoa, not that one. No, I'm running on that one. Now, you know this is full of cartridges in here, so I'm running on this one right here, and they're all hot and plug pluggable. All right. Grab that one. Here it is. I am holding in my hand with the Intel product, the Xeon E3, right here on the Moonshot cartridge. Nice. Let me say... That's great. Let me say that um, in addition to the Moonshot cartridge being the heart of the system, as you well realize, uh, my team and I simply put a frame around the beautiful virtual Renoir called the E3 with the uh, graphics processor, Iris Pro. Now let me say one last thing in, in uh, closing my section here, is that the graphics are compelling. The graphics are profound. The graphics are necessary. They're paramount. The end user experience is necessary, but it is not a sufficient condition for an enterprise's success. How many out here are CIOs, IT directors, and IT managers, and IT administrators? If you are, you know that we have to take care of you. And therefore, the deployment of this, coupled with the beautiful end user experience, is what makes your enterprise successful. And we have done that because of the way we built this to fit into standard infrastructure, standard technology, and extremely important to fit into the existing ZenApp infrastructure. And so that will give you the value of integration risk reduction, and that will also reduce your time to value, so you can get your enterprise and your users up and enjoying these benefits. So I want to thank you, Dr. Arp. I want thanks, to thank Tom. you, Frank, for this collaboration. It's been wonderful. Yeah, thanks. The collaboration is, is awesome, and it continues to be awesome, right? This is a starting point. This is not an end point for us. Um, what I want to be able to say is at least encourage you to come by our booth. There's a, probably a ton of things I would, I know I would love to talk to you about, questions that you might have. I'd like to be able to cover Intel virtual, uh, graphics virtualization technology and some of this solution set. But, you know, thanks. Great. Thanks for the collaboration, Thank you, Frank. Guys. Thanks again. Thanks, Tom. Pleasure. Thank you. Brad, thanks a lot. Okay. Thanks again. Good job.